In this problem, a sign is made from three overlapping circles of aluminum, all with the same thickness and density. We are asked to find the center of mass of the sign with respect to the center of the largest circle. So our coordinate system xy is here. So we're asked to find xg yg for the whole sign. And then we're asked to find the moment of inertia of the sign about the center of gravity, g. We'll start with the center of gravity. So by symmetry, we can see that xg is going to be equal to zero. The sign is symmetric about the y-axis. yg is going to be equal to y of object 1, we'll call them 1, 2, and 3, times the mass of object 1, plus 2 times y of object 2, mass of 2. Because 2 and 3 are at the same height, and they have the same mass, we can just multiply by 2, divided by the total mass of the whole sign. We can write this as we have the density times the thickness times y1 a1 plus 2 y2 a2, where those are the areas of circle 1 and circle 2, divided by rho t, the density times the thickness, times the total area. Those cancel out. This will be equal to y1 pi r1 squared plus 2 y2 pi r2 squared divided by pi r1 squared plus 2 pi r2 squared. All those pi's cancel. Now we'll put in some numbers. y1 is of course 0. r1 is 3 meters squared plus 2 y2 so this center is 3 meters above our origin so 3 meters times and those circles are 2 meters all squared divided by 3 meters squared plus 2 times 2 meters squared and we get a result that's 24 over 17 meters cubed over meters squared and we can write that xg equals 0, yg equals 1.4 meters. So now we found the center of gravity of the overall object as being 1.4 meters above the center of the largest circle. We're going to call this point O and we want to find the mass moment of inertia of the overall sign about point O, the center of gravity of the overall sign. So we're going to find the mass moment of inertia of each individual object about their own centers of gravity, find the mass moment of inertia of that object about point O, and then sum them all together. We're going to label our objects again, one, two, and three, so we don't get them confused. For object 1, about its own COG, IZZ1 is going to be 1 half M1R1 squared. And then about O, IZZ1 about O is going to be I Z Z one about its own center of gravity plus M one D one squared. So D one is just going to be the the distance one point four meters. And M one is going to be equal to rho pi R one squared times the thickness. So for object 2, about its own center of gravity, 
we'll have I Z Z object two is one half M two R two squared. And then about the overall C of G point O, I Z Z two about O is going to be I Z Z two plus M two D two squared. In this case, D two is going to be this distance. And we can see that it's half of this six meters, so three meters. And then in the vertical, it's three meters minus 1.4, so 1.6 meters. So we can write that D2 squared is 1.6 meters squared plus 3 meters squared. And M2 equals rho pi R2 squared times the thickness. Now because 2 and 3 are the same distance, same distance D2 from O, and they have the same mass moment of inertia about their own center of gravity, we can say that for object three, I Z Z three O equals I Z Z two about O. So now we find the mass moment of inertia of the total object about O. That's going to be I Z Z total equals I Z Z one about O plus two times I Z Z two about O. That's going to be one half M one R one squared plus two times one half M two R two squared plus M one D one squared plus two times M two D two squared. For each of these M's, we've got a row, pi and a T that can come out. We have one half R one to the fourth plus R two to the fourth because those twos cancel out plus R1 squared D1 squared plus 2 R2 squared D2 squared. So we're going to put some numbers in. We've got rho pi T. We're going to simplify this. 1 half 3, three meters to the fourth plus 2 meters to the fourth plus three meters squared times 1.4 meters squared plus two times two meters squared times 1.6 meters squared plus three meters squared. And we find that's rho pi t times 166.62 meters to the fourth. We add in the rho pi and t 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed times 3.14 times 1 centimeter. That becomes squared. And then we have to do some unit conversions. We've got 100 centimeters all squared is 1 meter squared times 1 kilo for 1,000 grams. So our grams cancel, our centimeters squared cancels, and we multiply all of this by 166.62 meters to the fourth, and we get a final result, I Z Z total about O equals 14,126 kilograms meters squared. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.